Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I am coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. And in today's video, we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. And in today's What's in the Box, we're going to be taking a look at even more Italians. We're going to be looking at their parachutists, which is basically their paratrooper infantry section comes with nine metal miniatures. It looks like they're all in jump smocks, uh, maybe submachine guns, and rifles. We'll take a look. Let's see what we get. These are 28 millimeter miniatures by Warlord Games for their game Bolt Action. Uh, now they say these are good for early, mid, and late. All right, taking a look at the back of the box, we can see that we've got quite a variety of troops here. We've got an NCO with submachine gun. It's probably him. We get one two-man light machine gun team. Maybe these guys or these guys. I don't know. Five paratroopers with submachine guns. Okay, so maybe he's the NCO. I don't know, but there's a bunch of submachine guns. And one paratrooper with a carbine. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and, oh, what does it say? Hold on. It says, large elements of, Nembo? Nembo. Okay, so, let me just read this real quick. The Italian paratroopers were hard men, often poorly supplied and supported, but fought that much bravely where they stood rather than gave ground. Fulgore, lightning, and Nembo, Nimbus, were the two airborne divisions that fought valiantly for Mussolini and later the Italian Social Republic, RSI. Until the armistice between Italy and the Allies. Even then, large elements of Nembo sided with the Germans and became the basis for the German 4th Fulschemjäger Division, being one of the last Italian units to surrender in 1945. Okay, a little bit of history there. This is okay. There's nine figures in here. Uh, they go ahead and just provide you with ten bases just to be sure. This is also packed by Cherie. So let's take a look at what we get. If you've never been to any of these What's in the Box videos, what I do is I take a look at the contents and do an overall inventory. And then what we do is we zoom in so you get to see what the actual figures look for, look like in close detail. Now I'm taking advantage of a customer's commission. He commissioned me to paint a bunch of Italians and these figures are his. And we are taking advantage of see exactly what we get in this box. Okay, and there should be just nine figures. And there are. So let's see what we get. We get a... We should get five submachine guns. There is quite a bit of flash. Um, and it looks like they got some ammo... Uh, cases either on their back both of these guys have them on their back uh, this guy looks like he would be a machine gunner uh, looks like a light machine gun that's being fed by a magazine This guy looks like he would be a carbine, right? But he could also be a crew member. 
Um, this is probably the NCO, but I could be wrong because he's got a bag of something in his hand. He's got ammo on the on his front and back. This guy's got a submachine gun. That is, those are ammo pouches, I think, on his front and back. Uh, this guy would just be a regular carbine guy. So this, okay, if he's the carbine, then this guy must be a crew member for the machine gunner. This is a car, uh, submachine gunner firing. Yeah, so there's five and one NCO. I'm not sure which one the NCO is. Um, I'm kind of looking for like a map case or something. Just to give me a clue. This guy is carrying a bag in his hand. Not sure about him though. None of these other guys have any kind of like pistols or other bags. He's the only one that stands out as something different. He's got a bag in his hand, so he might be the NCO. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in closer and take a close look at these figures. Okay, let's start off with that NCO figure that I was thinking about. See how he's got that bag in his hand right there? And then see how you got these ammo, these submachine gun ammo pouches right there on his chest? But I'm noticing that they have these pouches on their back as well. So they're carrying a lot of magazines. And he's got his jump smock on over his uniform. And he's got his camo cover on his helmet. So these guys are going to be fun to paint. Let's take a look at the rifleman. Or just a guy with a carbine, which... Yeah, it's a rifleman. You know, whatever. He's got a big pouch on his side as well. And he's got those long canteens. That's not a canteen, is it? Yeah, maybe that is. And they don't have leg wraps. They have uh, fatigue bottoms that go all the way down to their boots. Okay, let's take a look at this machine gunner. Let's see, he's got sidearm. He's got a magazine pouch on his belly right there. Uh, most of these guys, okay, there's an extra little bit of flash. But he's got a pouch. I'd call it a butt pack, but it's not really because he's got a strap over his shoulder. And this is the guy that I was assuming was his assistant gunner, just based on the, where it's placed on the picture. But really, any of these guys can be his assistant. He's got a knife and a bag. The rest of these are all submachine gunners, and you could try to decide if you like any of these specifically as an NCO. I would have to meet, okay. I'm looking for something that designates him as an NCO. The next submachine gunner. Now this guy looks like he might be reaching for a magazine out of his chest magazine pouches. I'm not sure why they carry rifle pouches as well. 
you know, around their belly if they're only using submachine guns. Kneeling and firing. Nails on the bottom of their boots. And standing and firing. I've noticed that they have their knives tucked beneath the belt uh, strap of the backpack, back uh, ammo pouches. All right, guys, that is what you get in the Italian parachute box. Um, pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't really designate which one is the officer. I was just thinking it was him because he's carrying his bag in his hand. But it could very easily be... any of these guys, really. Yeah. All right, so at the end of these What's in the Box series of Italians, uh, at that time, I will video a, uh, a completion of all these miniatures that are painted. And so come back and check out the entire Italian army that I'm doing as a commission. All right, I will see you in the next video.